So you want to start making YouTube channels, but you're afraid you need all this expensive equipment. And a lot of people think that. There are people that make videos that are just amazing. They have this talent and they have all this expensive equipment, but you don't need to have that, especially to get started. The, what you need is a phone. And this is, um, I could videotape this using the phone, but then I couldn't show you my phone. So um, I do want you to know that a lot of my videos that I take outside, I always use my phone, always. If I'm in the house, typically I have a little webcam that I attach to my camera and I clip it to my laptop and that's what I'm using right now. Any of the equipment that I show you today are not expensive. They're very good for starting out. They're actually some of the things I bought in the beginning and they're still working. I didn't have to upgrade and all the links are below. So just make sure you check all those out if you're interested in looking them up. Um, anyway, five tips today that I'm going to give you um, for videotaping from your camera, okay? Number one, when you use your camera, make sure you hold it this way and not this way. We have a woman at our church and she always videotapes her husband doing the preaching and they put it on the website that we have for the church and she always videotapes him up and down. And he's got all these black marks around him. The number one rule, the cardinal sin is videotaping this way. You want to go landscape because then you can see everything behind you it just makes for a really nice video experience for the watcher. So that's number one. Make sure you always do that. Number two, you can hold your video out and you can videotape and talk like this. I've tried it and it's shaking all over the place and sometimes it's too close to my face and things like that. I also have that problem using one of those sticks. Some people are good at it. That would be the most economical way to do it. Use your hands first, then the stick. My favorite thing is using a tripod. This is probably... I. I, I honestly hesitated. When I was new, I was just like you. I was like, oh, I don't want to put out any money, especially if I'm not sure what I'm buying because you're new. And this is, I'm going to tell you, this is one of the best investments that I've made. They're very, very economical. I, I think I picked it up for around $30, maybe $35. I don't remember. It's been a couple years, but this has been my favorite thing. I love to go outside and videotape when the weather's nice, just to give my viewer uh, different backgrounds because I know they probably like variety. And, and I just like to be outside. We live on a piece of property and it's beautiful out there. I just take my tripod, take my phone and videotape from there. Now from there, you want to make sure audio is very clear. If you put your phone on that tripod and then you walk six feet away, it's going to echo. It's going to feel really um, like, you, like you're in a tunnel. So you want to get a simple microphone. And the one I got for videotaping outside is called a lavalier. And actually I have one on right now. Let me show it to you. Um, it's just a little tiny microphone and you clip it on. Now I went ahead and got the 12 foot cord. It's got a nice little wrap here that you can tie it up if you don't need it. But if I want to videotape 12 feet away, like if I'm sitting on the tractor or something, I can put my tripod far away and I can use the cord to, um, with the microphone. And it just makes your audio a lot clearer. You're not in a tunnel and it's not echoey. And you, you do want to make sure too that when you're videotaping in your home, that there's not a lot of background noise because your, your little microphone will pick that up. So very economical. Again, I, I'm thinking this was like less than $35 too. Um, so they're, they're not bad. Um, then we want to talk about lighting. I was terrible about this in the beginning. I don't know why, but I thought that you should have the light behind you. And for probably several of my first videos, I had the window behind me when I was videotaping and they could see me, but I was kind of blurred out. And then I did my studying like you do. And I Googled and found that you want the light source in front of you. So you want to have a light in front of you or you want to have a window with the light coming in in front of you. So just remember that light source has to be in front of your face. And last but not least, let's talk about setup. You're, some people want to um, think they have to make a studio and have all the stuff and that's that's fun and it's neat if that's something you want to do but you don't 
have to do it. Just keep it simple. I am in my kitchen right now and I did this on purpose because I want you to see that I can go in my kitchen and talk to you. I can go sit in my living room and I can talk to you. I can go out on my deck or my patio or I can sit in my office. Um, it doesn't, ha all these tools that I just showed you are very simple economical tools that you can take with you as you videotape. You don't have to have your crew behind you carrying all the equipment and running behind you like a professional. So hopefully that was helpful for you. Get started. I encourage you, go make a video. It's so much fun. It is nerve wracking in the beginning. It is very nerve wracking um, because you're worried about who's going to see it. And it was so cute. I started out making some videos on Facebook and I did live ones because um, I had been going through some training at the time and they were saying, oh, you got to make Facebook lives. This is before I did YouTube and I'll never forget the first time I did it. I thought I was going to have a heart attack, so much anxiety. And I'll never forget my mom who's in her 80s. She called, she said, I saw you on Facebook and <laughs> it was the sweetest thing. And somehow she got caught up in my Facebook page and she was watching she goes I'm just watching one video after another it was so cute and she didn't criticize me it, it actually lifted me up and made me feel more confident to go forward because that's who you worry about you worry about your family and your friends and in the end they really don't care so get out there make a video and before you leave make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will give you more tips on how to get started in your business and how to grow your business especially affiliate marketing and using YouTube Subscribe and I'll see you on the next video and most importantly, thank you for coming.